You want to replace the screen of your Samsung Galaxy A41? In this video we will show you how. Replacing the screen of your Galaxy A41 is the most complex repair, since all components have to be removed. Allow about 90 to 120 minutes for the repair. For this repair you will need the following tools. In addition, these tools can be helpful as well. You can find all tools and an original replacement screen for your A41 in our online store at iDoc.eu. We've put the links in the info box. First, switch off your Samsung Galaxy A41 to avoid a potential short circuit during the repair. To do so, press the function and volume down key simultaneously until the power menu appears on the screen. Tap on power off. Your smartphone will now shut down within a few seconds. The A41 is opened via the heavily glued plastic back cover. After removing the SIM tray, you therefore have to heat up the adhesive first. To do so, run a hot air device such as a hairdryer evenly over the edge of the back cover for a few minutes. Note that the specified IP certification expires after opening your phone. Once the glue is sufficiently heated, you can apply a suction cup and pull it upwards. At the same time, insert a flat, stable tool like the iFlex between the back cover and the screen unit. To prevent the already loosened spots from rebonding, you should insert flat plastic picks along the back cover's edge. We also recommend switching to a plastic tool like the iPlastics as soon as possible to avoid scratching anything. Work your way forward with your tool bit by bit until the back cover is completely loosened. In the next step, loosen the 16 Phillips screws that fix the middle frame. To avoid losing the small screws, we recommend using a screw storage, such as a magnetic pad. Additionally, the middle frame is firmly hooked to the screen unit and has to be released from it. Make sure to place your tool in the right place to avoid damaging anything. Take your hard plastic pick and push it between the screen unit and the middle frame with a bit of pressure. Then, run the tool once around the frame. It should audibly and noticeably separate from the screen unit. Put the loosened frame aside. Now separate the exposed battery connector by carefully levering it off the motherboard with a spatter. Disconnect the cable between the USB and motherboard in the same way. On the side of the USB board, the cable splits into two ends. One end is slightly glued and also holds the connector of the screen cable. First, disconnect the screen cable connector. Then also the two connectors of the connecting cable. Loosen the glued cable end by running a flat tool underneath it. We use ESD tweezers at this point. Take the detached connecting cable out of your device and put it away. Continue with the battery. It is heavily glued over a large area. To loosen it more easily, you should heat it with hot air from the screen side beforehand. Then try to carefully lever the battery out of its guide with the battery spatter. Similar to the back cover, you can push a flat plastic pick underneath the battery on the already loosened spots. In the next step, disconnect the antenna cable by carefully levering the small metal connector of the USB board with tweezers. After that, you can remove the fingerprint sensor. Separate its connector with a spatter. Then use tweezers to remove it from its guide. You can then remove the USB board. First, unscrew the single Phillips screw. Then take it out of the device. Now remove the motherboard. Loosen the single Phillips screw before you take it out.
the front and main camera are still attached. The slightly glued vibration motor has to be removed and taken over as well. Use tweezers to lever it out of its guide. A small notch in the guide indicates where you can place your tool. You can find an original replacement screen for your Samsung Galaxy A41 and the appropriate tools for this repair in our online store at iDoc.eu. Prepare your replacement screen by removing all seals and protective films from the inside. To protect the screen glass from scratches, you can leave its protective film on until the end of the repair. Start by putting the vibration motor back into its guide. Press it lightly into place. Then put the motherboard in place and fix it with a single Phillips screw. The USB board follows. It must also be fixed with a Phillips screw. Put the fingerprint sensor into its guide and reattach it by carefully pressing its connector onto the board. It should audibly and noticeably snap into place. Be especially careful when attaching connectors and never press them down with force. A damaged connector can lead to the failure of an entire component. Now push the antenna cable back into its guide with a pair of tweezers. Make sure that the cable does not protrude anywhere from its guide. Then carefully press its connector onto the USB board. Put the battery back in place and press it firmly. Usually the adhesive residue on the back of the battery is enough to securely reattach it. If you want to be sure, watch our video about gluing the battery. After that, position the connecting cable over the battery. The position of its connectors, as well as the cable labeling, will help you aligning it. Attach the two cable connectors. Then press the second end of the cable tightly and attach the screen connector on it. Reconnect the battery with the motherboard. Now attach the middle frame by pressing it on the screen unit. It has to snap in audibly and noticeably and must not protrude anywhere. Fix it with 16 Phillips screws. Before closing your smartphone again, we recommend testing the replacement screen at this point with the help of Samsung's internal test menu. You can also test other basic functions via the test menu or with our checklist. We link it to you in the info box. If something does not work properly, check again if all components are connected and screwed correctly. At the end of the repair, you still have to attach the back cover. If the adhesive frame is still in good condition, you can simply reuse it. Otherwise, you should attach a new one. First, warm it up so that it can be removed more easily. Then, pull it off the back cover with tweezers. Align the new adhesive frame with the back cover and remove the carrier film. Then carefully press the frame along the edge. You can use a spudger, for example, to help you do this. If the adhesive frame fits correctly, remove the transparent protective film. Then also the green film directly on the case frame. Position the back cover over the screen unit and press it firmly. To ensure that the adhesive bonds evenly everywhere, run the heat gun over the back cover once again. You've done it! The screen of your A41 is now replaced. I hope your Samsung Galaxy A41 looks shiny new again. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time! You can find high quality tools, spare parts and accessories for your smartphone repair in our store, iDoc. Everything for your smartphone. Discover more repair guides and other helpful videos on our channel.